I'm here today with one of our board mem members, uh, Margit Liebalder. Um, maybe we can start by you shortly introducing yourself and maybe talking a little bit about your connection to Aspen Germany and how you yeah, came to us and uh, joined our board. Uh, my name is Margit, Margit Lewalder. I'm uh, the HR head uh, at Union Investment, an asset manager in Frankfurt. And uh, my connection to Aspen is that I'm also a board member of the Aspen Institute in Germany um, since a couple of years now. Um, and I truly enjoy working uh, in that Aspen Institute uh, that it has become. If you would have to put it in a nutshell, what does Aspen mean to you now that you've been with us for a couple of years now? Mainly the uh, Aspen Institute is um, for me a really, really powerful network um, of uh, individuals um, from across all industries and backgrounds that have uh, one commitment and goal in common, which is um, a value-based approach to building bridges. You've already um, mentioned sort of the networks, which I think are sort of the center also of Aspen Germany. We have different programs. You've been with us for a couple of years now. Is there anything in our work, maybe an event or a project that stands out specifically to you where you feel like this is something that maybe someone who doesn't know Aspen Germany that well should pay attention to? The leadership program, um, of Aspen is um, eye-opening. Uh, I truly enjoyed that experience a couple of years ago um, and I can absolutely recommend um, taking part in that leadership program. Yeah, the leadership program is such a cornerstone of Aspen Germany and I think it also is a very good way of showing that we're not very typical think tank. We're a lot more like a convening platform. Was that something that you had in mind or was important to you when you decided to join us? Um, because we're more driven by a mission and like you said, values-based leadership and advancing democracy. It has indeed been my starting point in connecting with Aspen. Um, I had the uh, privilege of participating a couple of years ago in that program. And it, I found it truly eye-opening uh, because it looks at leadership in a whole different way compared to other leadership programs that I participated in and um, that also as an HR leader I, um, I designed in the past. Um, it uh, changes perspective because the program tries to uh, discuss leadership on the basis of philosophy. And, and that is a unique uh, point that only Aspen offers. Thank you so much. Uh, I think this is really good for everyone that maybe doesn't have an idea of what the leadership seminar of Aspen Germany is, and it's not the sort of typical how do I become a better manager. Um, so I think this is really valuable. Um, as you know, we're turning 50 this year, um, and we want to look back sort of at what we achieved, but also look forward. What are some of maybe your wishes and hopes for a 50th? <laughs> we're already 50, 50th year. Um, I think that more than ever, uh, the Aspen mission is important um, because we're living in a world um, where we feel like there's constant conflict uh, and there's, there's so much going on. Um, so my hope is uh, that um, the Aspen community grows and uh, that it continues to connect people. Uh, more than ever, I think that is what is needed, and I think Aspen can make a true difference in the future. Perfectly put. Thank you so much um, for your support and for being here with us and uh, yeah, talking about Aspen and what we want to look at in the future, hopefully for the next 50 years. Thank you. Thank you.